So I woke up this morning and uh, it was kind of felt different something felt different so I checked the uh, temperature and it's 43 degrees down here in Florida well, that's just a start because we're on our way to the airport right now and we are heading to Iowa it's going to be around negative 20 if you don't hear from me again that means that I'm uh, frozen into an ice statue found the brand new Prius better than the old one for sure still weird we just got to Iowa and it's extremely cold looks like this snow there's white stuff on the ground notice something cool right here bam Hey everybody, it's Marwan here and welcome to this video. I just got back from um, Iowa. We went up there to uh, visit my uh, wife's family and it was pretty cold. Uh, it was nice to see some snow. Um, I kind of miss winter sometime, but uh, I mean there is a reason why I moved from Sweden to Florida and that was uh, pretty much because of the weather. Uh, it's nice to see snow for like a couple of days a year and then I'm good. I'm fine. I'm all set for another year or two. So it's good to be back in Florida right now. And in this video I'm not going to do anything specific. I'm just going to uh, talk some nonsense and uh, try to sketch something. And I found this old sheet of paper here. where This is an old uh, warm-up that I did. I I, I don't know, uh, maybe a couple of months ago. Uh, and we still have some uh, white areas here. So I like to be as efficient as I can with my paper use. So I'm just going to try and uh, fill up this paper uh, with some, some cars, preferably in some uh, interesting perspective. This is supposed to be slight top view. Uh, we already had these old marker wheels here, so I'm gonna use those as template templates for, uh, for this sketch and try to make an elevated side view. Uh, looks almost like a Jag E, Jag F type, which is a, a beautiful proportion uh, beautiful car proportion wise. I think it has uh, It's one of those timeless designs that uh, really is Going to be just as beautiful. I think 20 30 40 years from now the the that uh, uh, as it is today So let's fill in the wheels as well love this big pen i love the big pen as if in case you didn't know already it's my favorite pen in case you haven't heard me say that forty-three thousand times before currently have a cat on my feet which is trying to uh play with my toes and it's kind of <laughs> it kind of hurts a little bit, but so I hope you had a great uh, break, holiday break, Christmas or whatever you want to call it, New Year's, all of that, and uh, got to recharge your batteries in whatever way you do that personally for me I don't know if it's uh, unusual but 
relaxing for me is not uh, it's not how I recharge by sitting around and doing nothing. I like to I like to stay busy and I like to uh, to to whatever I mean recharge or whatever you want to call it to recharge I like to stay busy and do do things that I enjoy doing. Uh, but uh, everybody's different. Some people like to just chill and really do nothing, which is totally cool. I mean, if that's how you recharge, then go for it. But personally, if I sit still for too long, I get anxious and I need to do something. Uh, usually that would be working on my businesses or like what I'm doing right now, sketching. See, we can define this front. I think the hood is. Uh, let's see here. No, no. That's better. I kind of like this sketch. It's a, it's a fun, uh, fun thing. Quick doodle, but uh, I like the proportions of it, and I like the uh, slight perspective of it. Now we need to do the fun part, not not being sarcastic at all, which is the wheels. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really uh, love to sketch wheels that much because it takes so much time, and it's a repetitive thing because usually wheels are uh, different. You know, it's a repetitive design. You need to do it several times to do all the spokes, and that's kind of boring. But, uh, I mean, when you, if you have time to do it, then sure, go ahead. I think I have more than enough time right now to do some wheels properly. So I guess I'll do it. Let's fill in the uh, baseline right here. There we go. Some basic, basic reflections. I think we're going to add some markers to this. So I'm not going to go uh, super crazy with a big pen because it's going to look messy when I go over with the markers later. Just uh, putting out the where I'm going to put the markers and the different uh, levels of shading here. Maybe we can add some some fender thing right there. I'm going to Seattle at the end of uh, January, which is going to be super exciting. I always wanted to go to the uh, Pacific Northwest and check that out. It seems it's like such a beautiful place. So we're gonna, uh, I can't remember the name of the island that we're gonna be staying on because it's an island right outside of Seattle. We uh, found a cool Airbnb there. So we're gonna chill, go, go on some hikes, check out the city as well. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And of course I'm bringing my drone and I'm bringing my camera and everything. So I'm gonna put some of that footage in the in the videos. In case you haven't noticed, I like to put some some other things uh, footage in the beginning of my videos just to uh, I don't know. I just like to do it it to, just to tell a uh, different story and then jump into the the sketching part of the video. It's just nice to share some other things sometimes than just sketching videos. And as you can see, I am being quite lazy with these wheels because I'm doing the simplest five spoke designs you've ever come across. Uh, but I mean, you can define them as uh, to whatever extent you want. 
we can make uh, the. Let's see if we can make it. Uh, that did not turn out great. What is wrong with my circles today? Something is definitely off. This is supposed to be a circle in case you're wondering uh, for the disc break that's visible behind the, the spokes. Yeah, I'll have to, I have to uh, touch this up later, make it look decent. For now it's all right. Nice little side view here. We're gonna add some more cursors just in a second. But uh, I wanted to ask you, if you're from Seattle or the area, or if you've been there, what would you recommend uh, we check out? Uh, I haven't really looked into it yet. I'm going to right before, or before we leave, I'm gonna check out what's, what's around there. Um, for me, I, I kinda wanna uh, just go on a lot of hikes and find some cool hiking trails and do that. Uh, at the same time, gotta check out the the city and find some cool restaurants maybe. So if you have any suggestions on what to do in the Seattle area, we might even go to drive into Vancouver uh, if we have time and if we can. I'm not sure. You can take a rental car in over the over the border to Canada if we can we uh, probably will do it but we'll see how that goes and what else is happening this year we are going to Mexico in March uh, going to an island outside of Cancun I think it is to hopefully do some some diving and some snorkeling and then I'm going home to Sweden in uh, June. My sister is graduating high school. And I think uh, we are planning on uh, driving up to to uh, Norway as well to check out uh, Lofoten, which is uh, some islands in the northern part of Norway. I always wanted to go there. I can't believe I haven't been because it's such, you know, it's so close to Sweden, but I really haven't checked out Norway, which uh, to me is crazy. So it's about time. So that's the plan for traveling. And then we're going back to Iowa for a wedding in uh, August. I think it is. So that's about it for, for the traveling parts that are planned at least this year and I think I'm gonna just record videos like these with just random doodling because that's, this is what I enjoy doing the most um, and unless you have let's see if we have a I don't want to mess that up so let's mess I want to have a dirty paper already underneath this when we go over with markers so I don't waste another paper. Uh, what was I saying? Unless you have suggestions on what you want to see sketch-wise, sketch, sketch wise, then I'm just going to keep uh, uploading videos like these uh, with random sketches and stuff. So look at what my wife came up with. She bought this thing here and it is perfect to just fill up with markers. <laughs> but the, the the weird thing is, I have still have this one right here. It's full of markers. And uh, this one right here, which is also full of markers. So, how do we solve that? Well, I told her to, to go and buy another set of uh, this, <laughs> this set here. And she was more than happy to do that. Uh, just so I can use the case for for this purpose just to fill it up with a lot of markers because I like it better to just open it up and pick whatever markers I want than to have to uh, you know put them back in the case and la la it takes too too long it takes too much time before we go into markers let me just change the playlist here I'm gonna put on the marker playlist right now which is a lot of house music 
All right, done. Uh, now we have to decide what colors we want to use. So I'm just gonna dig in my marker box here until I find a couple of uh, similar shades. And what's popping up right now is a lot of grays, which uh, I don't mind. I can do some cool stuff with grays. Blue gray, yeah. Let's see what's going on with these markers, if they're still good, first of all. That works. Let's put that over there so I know. That's perfect. Maybe we can add some red. Oh, this is a this is an old marker, so let's put that over here. Okay. Yeah, that works. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and start with this one, the lightest one, which is right here. Hope you can. See. Yeah, you can see it. It's gonna start by filling in the base. Uh, base. What is it called? Side reflection, horizon reflection here. Go over it real quick. I know a lot of you have issues with the mark, the big pen bleeding when you go over it with the with a marker. The only way to solve that issue is to either buy the chart pack markers and wear gas masks while you sketch because they <laughs> they literally stink and they will stink up the whole room and you will probably pass out after an hour or two if you don't have a gas mask. Or you can use whatever marker you want and just go over it really fast. So you don't wanna you don't wanna put too much marker down on the ink from the bic. Like I don't want to hold my marker over here for too long. That's gonna make the the big lines just you know get smudgy and all of that. So that is uh, tip number one and tip number two for keeping it clean is to just go over this one more time with the big pen when you're done with your markers. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Uh, now I'm gonna go in and do the second layer, make it a bit darker in here. I think people overthink, overcomplicate the use of markers. It's really simple. You really just need to know the basics of reflections and light and keep, uh, keep in mind where your light source is. That should dictate where you want to put the different layers of markers and the different shades of marker. And uh, always, if you have any questions about this, just post it in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you out. That's why I make these videos, is to hopefully get you improve your sketching. Maybe someday you can say, yeah, I watched this dude on YouTube, and he had these awesome YouTube videos, and that's uh, what got me sketching. That's basically the goal. Going back to the first marker now just to smooth out these uh, the uh, different shades between these I don't want to have a sharp super sharp reflection there between those two and this obviously will work better on marker paper I'm not using marker paper right here because I'm not a fan of marker paper it, it's too slippery and I don't feel like the the marker is being absorbed by the paper as well as when you're using stuff like this, which is regular. This is just regular print paper. And it's way cheaper as well, which is uh, not a bad thing. Gonna go ahead and use my fine liner here. Two, size two, which is all black to fill in. Go back and fill in the some of these lines. Try to keep it round. Not easy all the time. Mm. 
<clears throat> and put the put the car down on the ground or whatever product you're sketching you always want to put it plant it on the table or the ground or whatever it's standing on so it doesn't look like it's floating in air in the in midair with no base you always want to define where the base is with a heavy thick baseline that will give it weight and it will look better to it's just better to look at because you're helping the eye uh, to determine the direction of the light by just adding the the, the baseline and you're helping it's easier to see the shape of the, the product you're sketching. I'm just going to add some details here, some uh, shading from the spokes, for example. Can't really tell where this spoke is ending, so I guess I have to define it right now. I guess that will... No, that's not correct. There we go, maybe make it thinner, it's too fat. Same thing in the front, fill in the black space between the, uh, which is between the uh, disc brake and the spokes. And the disc brake itself is going to cast a shadow on the inner drum of the, the, the wheel. Small details, but uh, if you know, if you keep those details in mind, you're gonna have a lot, uh, an easier time just, uh, you know, like these, this that I just did right here, this is the shading on the inner drum by the disc brake, and then you have the shading of this spoke itself, um, the, the shadow of the spoke itself on the inner disc uh, brake as well. Just small details. What I'm gonna do now is add the shade from the spokes onto the disc brake. And I know that the light source is coming, the light is coming from the top. So I know that the shadow of the spokes is going to fall uh, beneath the spoke, that side of the spoke. If that makes sense, not sure. If it doesn't, just let me know. Why not add some markers to the spokes themselves? Something like that. Uh, what else? We can add some blue. I like to add some blue to, to the... Um, to the top part of the uh, the shading, so just to get some uh, reflections from the sky onto this car, it looks really good if you get it right. Sometimes you kind of or accidentally mess it up, but I think this works great. And if you want, you can add some warm gray or almost brown to the bottom same philosophy here is to have the 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 ground being reflected and the ground is usually earth earthy color like a brown or warm gray or something like that so you have these two contrasts you have blue facing up on the surfaces facing up you have darker uh, earth colors on the surfaces that are facing towards the ground And it gives a kind of a chrome look, which uh, which is cool. If you want, you can uh, finish this sketch off by adding some highlights. If I can find my here, my Posca pens. Let's see, one of them is dead. I know that. I think uh, this might be. Let's see. Yeah, this is dead. Fortunately, I have another one right here. Let's 
see. What's up with my Posca pants today? Nope. Nope. I do have a third one. Remind me to order these so I don't run out of them. I know two of them are fine. This is perfect, great. I think the first one is just didn't shake it long enough. So where do we want to put the highlights? Well, your light source is right on the top. So that means all the surfaces are facing up. Could add, uh, you know, that are shiny. Could have our potential candidates to get this uh, treatment here. I'll put it, uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be like super specific. Just, I just like to add it sometimes on random places just because it looks cool. And people really uh, think, think I know what I'm doing when I put these highlights out here, but uh, sometimes I really don't. I <laughs> just put them out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, I'm probably gonna leave it on there anyway. But if it's really messed up, you can always go back with the uh, big pen, which I think I'm gonna do right here because I was seriously messed up. This pen is not performing the way I like it to. It's all messed up. Wake up, big pen. I mean, Posca. All right. I think it just woke up. Oh, that's a thick line. Uh, you, I don't know if you want to add it in the, the body of the car. Usually. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do it. So let's add one line right here. So you highlight, highlight the highlight. This line needs to be fixed. And finally, go back with a big pen and fix uh, all the mess that we just created. And define the lines that were smudged by the markers. We might want to add a door to this as well, so people can get inside of this car. Now I get a lot of comments, by the way. I get a lot of comments on uh, why I'm not adding mirrors to my side views. I just don't like to do it because it, I don't know, it just messes up the sketch and it's just gonna be a blob right here. Bam, same thing here, I didn't do it here. If I do the, if I sketch it in a different perspective, then yeah, sure, I might add the uh, the uh, rear light, but for inside views, no. I'm a, I'm a skip that. See how this little touch with the with the Posca pen makes such a big difference can really see that it's a cut line there now. All right, so that's about it for this video. I kind of like how this uh, tiny sketch turned out. I hope you like it too. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any friends that like sketching just as much as you do, you might want to share this video with them just to get them into sketching as well. Let's just sign that like that. And we are all done. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.